Hello everyone who may be watching now later on YouTube, Lane here along with Rakir! And welcome back to Impossible Creatures and yeah, I am wearing a lab coat. Uh, <laughs> Rakir gave me the idea to dig, dig this thing up again. And yes, I, I've owned this one for quite a while already. I have a degree in chemistry after all. This trying to get the hold up. Yeah, you can go right. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been I've won this thing in over a year. Or over two years, probably. Maybe even three. And I'm still oh not God. too fat for it. Alright, so you actually are a mad scientist. Um, mad is debatable, scientist is not. Either way, <laughs> uh, I'm starting here because I don't think I've shown something here yet. Yeah, that's Julius laughing at you when you start the game. Uh, <laughs> let's continue on. Last time we met uh, a new villain after we sent Hoodie, <laughs> no, Putin, into the Ready. depths. There's new research available at the research clinic. Hello. Okay. All right. We'll get to work. Mm, I'll Lucy. get on that directly. I'm not sure if Lucy is actually a better builder, but I assume she is. For science. Um, is that okay. so blue? Uh, yeah. I'll get on that directly. Blue. Rick's blue. chance at your service. Sounds like a plan. Uh, it's a bit oddly colored. Let's go. Okay, cheetah. Right. There's a bunch of new creatures on this island. Or, no, hyena, not cheetah. Sounds like a plan. Okay, from this distance, this, the toads look similar. No enough. problem. Yeah, I've never seen a yellow hyena. I'm on it. Okay. Let's go. I checked out some things online, and apparently the spinning cobra here is supposed to be the absolute worst beast How of them all. Help you? Wait, what? That shouldn't yeah. be a problem. Apparently, it ho the only thing it has to it uh, to its name is that it, well, it has a ranged attack. But the archerfish and the porcupine have that already, and more. Am I the only one who thinks that's a bit of a fail? Ready to make for it action. The worst? I'm on it. Right. I'm on it. Right. Now, cobras aren't exactly known as fighting no creatures, but they, they only have their venomous bite, and even and then they can only use that in so many Let's times go. because, well, they when they they have no real what would control you have me do right away over their uh, injection over the injection for science. It's it's basically the, a, a shotgun that fires everything it has in one go and then ha then has a really long reload you know, time. Alright, though a speaking cobra would they be terrifying, yes. especially if it was giant. Rex Chance at your service. What yeah. would you have me do? Okay. There's also something a bit different in right the stream. Away. Well, not really in the stream itself, but in the chat, in that I've been I've banned a ton of bots uh, from it. So uh, no more fake views. Nice. Uh Oh, Pretty big. How can I help you? Bloody heck. Okay. Rex Chance at your service. Also, apparently, no there's problem. supposed to be a, a, yes? a really difficult level coming up. But we've managed so far as long as we've been able to a build science. up quickly enough. Yep. And. Oh, yeah. Uh, did hello. You also okay. Discovered that the. Uh, the lobster is indeed a game breaker. Yeah, not exactly game breaking, but it is one of the top tier beasts right. at the very, very least. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Because of their high defense, the high defense, regeneration, armor piercing, or structure piercing is a better word. Well, it does that make sense for. Uh, sure, a small lobster is not that powerful, but if you Ready. make it bigger than a buffalo. What would you have me do? Yeah. Or be an elephant, then, then we'll talk about something else. That could okay. wreck shit. What's next? Anyway, oh, oh. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I should have built no up a bit problem. earlier. 
Yes, and I'll get Lucy on that directly. How can I help you? Rex, yeah, Lucy just finished that up. Service. Right. Rex, in the meantime, can Sounds fight like back plan. at these things. I'm on it. Let's go. There we go. Mm -hmm. For science. It's a good thing I started building those immediately that before be this. How can I help you? Ready. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I suspect mm -hmm. we should uh, I'll get on that directly. at this point uh, see if you can gather more service. DNA and start on beat the new army. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try not to overuse. Right. Uh, oh, hello. There's no the panther. No problem. Yeah. I'll try not to overuse the lobster. Yeah. Otherwise, it's no fun. I'm on it. Let's go. I'll, I'll probably I'll remove I'll probably remove the lobster pines, and only stick to the lobster bears. At least if uh, he finds something that's better the pula bear. Pula bear? Pula bear. I think I heard someone else start uh, calling bears bear. <laughs> okay. I don't know what accent that they pronounce bear as bear. Okay, let's see. Let's put up a few of these. Okay, that, those one I don't yes, feel like we science. should be proud of. They, they all practical. Right away. And <sighs> they actually do look quite fearsome. I, I should probably balance things out a bit. Like yes? most of our early stuff, except for the Wally Yacht. <laughs> Is uh, ranged uh, is for ranged, mm -hmm. which uh, well leaves us vulnerable until we've gotten the higher the higher tiers. I'll get on that directly. Yeah, we probably need a, a new good new level creature. Hmm. Yeah, after this we might look. Yeah, I'll remove. I'll remove the porcupine in, in lobster and put in something on level two or three. What would you that, have uh, me do? Can actually for fight science. in melee. Ready for action. No problem. It's yeah. It should probably be something that is a packed animal. That so you have at least. Nope. What the? It's the flying monkeys again. And they. What would you have me do? Also, I think it's ch yeah, it's chimpanzees, not uh, how can I help you? Not baboons oh. that do uh, well the range attack, as I'll call it. Yes, that should yeah, be Yeah, I'll figure that out uh, someday. Got to Oh wait, baboons don't look like that. Was also it was supposed to be chimpanzee or something else there. But listen to that confer. Oh right, that's mm -hmm. the porcupine you rock. Monstrosity. Yeah, they don't have herding, but they do have. Actually, I think these guys are probably better than these, even though they deal more damage. They still have the pack hunter, though it doesn't actually say how much it strengthens the, how can their I attack help you? by. I'll get on that directly. Might be the higher the more they are. In to a limit, of course. Probably. Otherwise, I think that will itself be a game breaker. Let's see. Now we can probably. Let's see. Uh, level four, level four, level four. Yeah, we can prob we can probably remove the musky bears and the muscar bears. Uh, put in some lower tiered melee attackers. Because so far we've had it each time, nearly all of the time that uh, we get attacked before our army really starts going, huh? Mm -hmm. For science. Uh, yeah. Oh dear. And wait, how many animals were we able to find in this map again? Uh, we can have a total of 80, 50 units out at a time. And that's level 4 done. What's not what I asked about? I was asking about how many animals how can we can find. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's see, we still have the chimpanzee, the gorilla, and the crocodile. Right away. And well, crocodiles being crocodiles, I expect For that science. to be very tanky as well. And dangerous. 
with luck, that could actually replace our pool of lobster. Or we look to call it again. The lobster bear. Yeah, the lobster what bear. What would you have me do? How can I help you? I'll get on See? that directly. That shouldn't be a problem. Moving the defenses up. Marking these two, and there's combat. Ooh. Okay, deal with all of that, please. Okay, that's a chameleon and giraffe. Uh, th those are some powerful... Okay. That's some powerful turrets that they have. At the very least, we, they are attacking under the cover of our turrets. What would you have me do? One of those beasts look like a. I'll get on that of some sort. Okay, I think I see why they made a cool, very different color on this map. Yes. To make it a lot more obvious where it is. <laughs> yeah, that boy. You see, like, you know, that's a a cool color on this map would be easy to miss. Move all of these. We still have the flyer here. Yeah, we should be able to make a griffin now. Uh, yeah. Uh, first, though, let's actually make a level 2 and a level 3 tank uh, melee. Fish, and then it goes in. Oh, the panther is level three and very high on the fence. Okay, okay. let's see. Kneeling has regeneration and camouflage. Uh, oh, that is good. Let's see. And then what is another beat? Let's avoid the lobster, like I said. Wait, lobster is level two? Oh. <laughs> okay, the hyena has a bite of nine. Uh, that makes sense, but they're all known for having very powerful bites. <laughs> okay, the very the tongue attack is very powerful as well. Kamina! <laughs> that actually sounds good, that name. <laughs> And then there's the camouflage, which is from the tail alone, which is still a bit strange. Hmm. Let's see, anything else that has a good claw attack or something instead of the head, then it can be a double... Uh, then it can be both melee and uh, ranged. But what the graph had to the on the baboon. Hmm. Giraffe kick of five. Lobster, we said we'd avoid, though it has an equal damage attack. Wolf has a bite of eight as well. Hmm. Okay, if we do the giraffe like this... Come <laughs> 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 uh, up, Okay, song attack and kick. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is what the enemy has as well. Yeah, I think so. But it becomes level three like this. Hmm. How is it? How is this level four? Yeah, the, the, the rating on this is a bit off as well. Let's let's take the hyena, give it regeneration, camouflage, and pack hunter, and then just that devastating bite. And it's still only it's, this is very research level two. Oh god, you made it, it look so horrible. Yeah, we'll make a level three one later because we don't want to spend too much time just uh, <laughs> messing around with the beasts. It's part of the fun. 
true, but uh, let's, where's Lucy? Rex Chance at your service. Lucy! Uh, there you How are. How can I help you? Right away. We're waiting for me to build another bomb. Uh, turrets. We can wait. Well, we don't actually need gear level. Reaches level 5. Yes. So we can leave that bean. Uh, meantime, let's push up. Yeah, I've been level 5 creatures. I'm meant to be like elite creatures. Yeah, like the, or the orca whale that we saw with uh, Bardi Hooten earlier is probably a level 5 beast. Uh, yeah. What would you have me do? So we able to spam those would be. Sure, it would be awesome first times, but we quickly get uh, a bit boring. Okay, retreat a bit. And attack. And what the heck is that? How Wait, can I help you? Is that a fish I'll and how much you into one? Uh, that's enough. That's enough. An archer dillo. I was right. It, and it looks like a loaf of bread with a fish in it. Okay. Just oh, the instrument's in place where we can't even reach it. Okay, team two, take care of that. Okay, those are meant absolutely for melee, uh, for ranged attacks. Where's Kashita? Yeah, we'll have to retreat mm -hmm. from that here. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Lucy, put up some defenses, please. Right away. Is it stuff of fuel or fuel or shield? Not too far from the oil ranger. Mm -hmm. Chimpanzee, gorilla, and crocodile. Oh, all right. Looks like we found the hornet's nest. There must be a landing pad inside the caldera. That volcano is going to be a tough nut to crack for sure. And it looks like a natural castle. We'll just have to find the weakest point and bust through. Did you learn tactics like that in journalism school? Listen, we have to get our hands on one of those gyrocopters. It'll give us a huge strategic advantage. Watch you don't get stung looking for honey. Okay, just to take this tower down and then we'll retreat. Except, well, except for that last one. Be and that one. Okay, then we can hold the line here. Yeah, okay. Sure, uh, regeneration and all is action. good, but I don't want Let's to use what we all losing. Uh, yeah. The lobster bears. Ready. I'm on it. Rex, get over there because the chim chimpanzee is there. What would you have me do? That shouldn't Lucy, be a problem. Lucy, you can build an outpost here. Or... Right away. Once this is done, we can send the henchman out. What's next? Right. We can send the henchman up to the... Oh, hello. Rex Chance at oh, your I, service. For a moment, I thought Sounds that like was... Plan. Okay, sneaky. An electric... Ready for electric action. For real. No problem. Okay. <laughs> No, it, I think I Let's missed out that. Oh, I'm on. Did it? it How seriously can I say electric fire more? Yeah, it said electric, no, electric, electric whale. All right. I guess it just got For all science. the uh, pixel blood just at Ready. that moment. No oh, and problem. it came to us. See? Let's go. Oh, oh hello. Uh, dragon cheetah? Dragona. Yeah, cheat a cheetah and a dragonfly. Okay, take that thing down, please. Thank you. Now, deal with this. Yeah, it seems to be a mix between... Yeah, it's, it seems to be a mix between an electric ale and a killer whale. Okay, pull back at the very least and we... Okay, we have, What's we have a pet panther. What would you have me do? Okay, what I want you to do is build some defenses here directly. because it's obvious they're going to try sneak attack at some point. Uh, I mean, me, where are Black Panthers native to? I think South America. Yeah, that's confused me for... I was always wondering, why did Caesar in one of the 
Asterix and Oblix uh, cartoon movies have a black sh leopard panther as a pet. Okay. Uh, I was for that odd. So, uh, Chimpanzee. Pummel, bite, and rock artillery. Uh, sure. Sure, it's rocks. And pack hunter. Because uh, chimpanzees are pretty rock. vicious beasts. And uh, yeah, hello rock. there in the chat, Luxana1. Hello! Uh, let's see. What other one was the panther here. No relation to Wakanda. Or at least that's what it wants you to think. <laughs> And the spitting cobra, a bite of two and a venom spray of four. Uh, yeah, it does cause poisoning, but it is the weakest attack. Yeah, the weakest, the yeah, weakest melee attack that we've seen. And yeah, it just has no abilities at all. So I see why people think it's uh, not too useful. Yeah, sure, poison can be useful, but you need to combine it with a very strong creature to begin with. I'm thinking we could use the chameleon again. Actually, let's put it on the other side. Uh, but what to give it then? Actually, hello. Chimpanzee and chameleon. Then it has two different uh, range attacks. Um. <laughs> it's a chameleon. <laughs> The way it looks. Okay. That does make it look a bit like it is slightly more terrifying. Let's see, it's level two creature, okay. And these are also level two. It might actually outperform our wool apart. Yeah, it is. The only thing this has that the others don't is that they have high endurance, but they don't really use special abilities. Wait, it says that the rock artillery is minus two damage. Right? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's in comparison to this. Yeah, the Wolo Prince have arranged to have the Quillet show, which does five damage. But <clears throat> our uh, Chimpelion has rock artillery, which is only three, but also the tongue attack. So they have a total diff uh, range attack of ten. Let's actually okay. make one to test it out. Ready. I'm on it. Uh, I think I'm... Do they outperform the... Uh, yeah, they do more damage than the gear pine, and they are a level lower. They have almost only a half of the health and but higher defense, more cool. sight. It's 69. Or is this, or someone said hit for 69, so there. <laughs> it's the Wolupines. Oh, I swear that number owns me. Okay, let's make a view of them. How can I help you? And let's also For make science. this. Hmm. Uh, me... Let's see. This isn't to make something new, but more to check something. Uh, let's let's <clears throat> let's lower this down to only beast with range attack. There we go. Let's see. Three, four, three, five. I'm thinking we could probably Chameleon and Snow Owl. Actually, how do these two compare? The Dragonfly is more expensive, has more uh, range and more melee damage. But we don't want it for that. We want it to be... The, that's just a plain owl. We... Oh, but they can camouflage as well like this. A cami owl. Cami owl, what? Uh, yeah, I think this would probably do make for a better uh, ranged attacker than we currently have. Which is, well, with the porcupine. 
Yeah, it has seven. This one has five. So, yeah, bye bye to that. We, we, kind of overused the porcupine with things. Yeah, the, the early porcupine with the wolf is good, but the one with the giraffe is, yeah, a bit unnecessary. Yes. Okay, we now have the air chamber as well. So let's make four of these. We're, yes. we're okay. We're pretty set on resources. Uh, let's see. Let's have you make a bunch of lobster bears. Then you can make some of these and a few. Not yet. Oh, we are out of coal already. Okay, let's not go with the guru kind then. Bloody, I think I have some better names for some of the beasts here. <laughs> but I may suggest them if you are mm -hmm. going to keep the design like Chameleon Owl as I'll get on that directly. <laughs> okay, uh, that could work. And yeah, it seems that it was only one extra rage shirts in the, this thing. Uh, yeah, we have better defensive towers now. They, now they have two heads instead of one. How can I help you? Okay. Uh, let's mark you to set them, set them there. Let's mark these guys as three. If I remember correctly, these things can also uh, detect enemies or detect yes. stealth. Yeah, I, say, I like that they are flying around that this spot they are on and not just flying like in all the games where they just stand still and flap their wings. Yeah. yeah. They have done a lot of attention to details in this game. Okay, let's start pressing forward and that's the resource is gone. Ready, boss. All right. Okay, you're the boss. Let's prep this for. Uh, you uh, go hello. as well. Okay. Yeah, just a conga line All of right. henchmen. Conga, what conga, would you conga, have me do? Conga, for conga, science. Conga. Okay, put up some air defenses that here as well. Be a problem. And let's start our push. It's the hyena again. Are the hyenas that bright? Uh, against this land, probably. Uh, let's see, are they actually. Yes, they are using their tongue. But not the tongue and the rocks. Okay, well, so that is a bit of a waste then, possibly. Wait, one tongue did throw a rock. Yeah, it could also be that they have different range limits. Yeah, it could be that. So, for certain things, there's a the full walk, and other times they. Make it. Oh, yeah. There you they see. Were... The rooks are flying. Okay, they are mixing it up. Okay, so it was another waste. I judged too early. And there we have fish in buns. They, they, they look like a, a freaking bread roll. For me, more like someone uh, just. Replace the hot dog with a fish. Uh, fish dogs is probably a thing somewhere. Yeah, I think I played a game, Japanese game where there was something called fish sausage. And it's one of the few times I actually found fish sounded uh, tasty. Then again, I do like uh, sausage since childhood, so. Okay, yeah. it seems that they are primarily using the rock uh, artillery. I'm guessing that has bigger range. It... And then when things get closer, they use the tongue. So it's not entirely uh, bad, but yeah, we we prefer them to prioritize. How can I help you? What's next? We prefer them to prioritize the tongue over the rocks. Right away. <laughs> Yeah, so far, they, yeah, when the player gets too close, the tongue comes out. Okay, we live and learn and adapt. 
they do and yeah, they, they do vary between them okay it just depends entirely on the distance i'm guessing yeah possibly even the, the attacks that probably have their own cooldown so could be that as well yeah i i see them using it constantly on their Hello with the Ah there's the gorilla. Ready. Right. I think. Back, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think our creatures will oh, hello. I already admits to pet for help and she wouldn't send any. She's been cruel before, but leave me to die is the last straw. If you spare me, I'll join you. We can use all the help we can get, but that bird don't look too good. How long will it take to get it moving? At least a few minutes, maybe more. All right, it's a deal. But don't forget whose side you're on now, capiche? Boss, if you watch my back long enough to fix this thing, why, I'll fight a war for you if I have to. It may just come to that. <laughs> okay, I, I have to say I do quite like the dopey little theme for the henchmen. <laughs> And it seems we are now on a defense mission. Yeah, I'm guessing yeah. it's mostly uh, air units that would be sent right because chance, yeah, we service. have this lockdown. Like yeah, did, did you get a gorilla? And Let's no, go. it walked out of sight sounds before like Max arrived. I'm on it. So I'm guessing it's somewhere around here still. And there's the crocodile. Right. We know that is there. And why the hell are you coming back? Are, are you? Oh, he, I guess he just wanted cobbles from Rex. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, the, ah, there they... Now, of course, they can send creatures in across the water still. Ready. Sounds like a plan. Okay, better retreat with Rex. You all go fishing. Oh god, I just remember a interesting fact about the crocodiles. And that What's is... Did you know, did you know they can it. gallop? Right. I did not. I, I knew that they can get quite a bit of speed even on... I'm on it. They, they, can, they are go. deceptively fast on land, and there's the gorilla. I'm on it. Yep, when they really want to move fast, they will basically gallop, right. and it looks like they Come are running it. like a damn cheetah when they do. Right. What would you have me do? That should okay, be I'll a have problem. to look that up. Yeah, yeah. I saw a video showing on that a, they got one um, crocodile to actually do it and record it, and it was impressive. Oh, there's only quite a bit of pieces. Oh, wait, oh, all of our Simpelians got wiped out. Wait. Was that a crocodile turtle? Good chance, I'm just replenishing our... Let's see, a, a croaking turtle. Oh, and right. whoa, that, that's a cheetah mus. <laughs> cheetah and a hippo. Oh, bloody heck. The, the, fat, the fattest... Water is an amphibious uh, mammal combined with the leanest, fastest cat into one. Like, th th that feels like a yoke. Nope. Then the other one feels also like, like a yoke, like... I know there is an animal called the alligator turtle, and then, yeah, you see here, I just made a crocodile turtle. Okay, our... The cami owls, our... Our... Uh, our did hold their phone against an attack there. That's good. <laughs> And yeah, this is just an enemy spawn point. Okay, just stick on there. In the meantime, you guys stay on the sideline. I think Tower could be good here. I think we're almost we're almost done here since repairs are almost complete. So just leave those hanging over there to spawn kill anything that <laughs> appears. Ready for action. <laughs> Let's see, we have all the beasts, so Rex What's can... Next? I'm well, on he, it. He can just retire in the lab. Okay, new group two. Okay. 
And let's add a bit to our air forces. We have enough resources too. Right. And some more luck near Star Bears. Actually curious. Will combining crocodile and lobster make them even more powerful? It's a good chance of that. And well we have the DNA and we also have gyrocopters now. There's a penalty for being a traitor where I come from. Death. You always were a sore loser, Le Pet. Oh, Monsieur Chance, are you still carrying that old baggage? Why don't you pay me a visit? I know. We'll have much more fun without her. I'd rather hug a porcupine combined with a wolverine. No, believe me, Monsieur Chance. It can be arranged. Goodbye. Huh. <laughs> idle threat. Velika is not really the kind of woman to make idle threats, Rex. Maybe we should prepare for a fight? We got what we came for, Lucy. Get the generators fired up. Let's move on. <laughs> Now, Monsieur Chance, I will show you the wrath of a woman scorned! Oh, trap. Well, we're not moving anywhere. Or are we? My lab. This damage will take me forever to fix. I'm really starting to run low on bailing wire now. We're gonna have to take out our base here so we can safely move on. Jeez Louise, you think so? Why couldn't you have figured that out sooner? Darn you, Rex, I told you this would happen. Nobody likes an I told you so, Lucy. Well, it was smart to try and hit and run this, but uh, it was also not too smart to try and flee without uh, ensuring a safe route out. Yeah, or unnecessary anger. Let's see. Oh, we're, we're at our beast limit. Okay. And are they, are they just going to continue coming out of there? So where do we continue on to then? I'm guessing her base is probably on one of these parts. Okay. But... Possibly, oh, yeah, I, I saw it came in just out. So they're probably sending them through the cave. Okay, can we send our own beasts through somehow? Let's see, if I click there... Uh, okay, Team 1, stay here for the defense. We can use our... Well, <laughs> these guys to move over here. Oh, hello. Take that out while you can. There's, oh, there's archer face beasts. Um, oh yeah, they, they are strong. <laughs> okay, uh, retreat from that. Let's see. Limit all the structures. Okay. Okay, the normal towers don't seem to be doing much, if anything. Uh, okay, well, but then we can use this guy to just scout around. And luckily he is in stealth mode. Oh. <laughs> Team 2, get back here. And that's the owl dead. But we have more. And there doesn't seem to be anything here. Now, do we have that? Yes, we have Hello. that gyrocopter. Let's take you as number five at the moment. Airlift. Oh, yeah, that's how we're going to move over. Okay. It seems our defenses have held up quite well against these things. Yeah. Uh, 
Wait, oh, it's deselect, it's de-teamed. Uh, Rex and Lucy are... Wait, they're not, they're not on the field anymore, it seems. Okay. So, yeah, we won't be able to use them anymore, but then again, we don't really need them anymore. Do wonder, though, if we... What's this radar pulse? Radar pulse. 1,000 energy. Okay, I didn't see that. Oh, there's <laughs> the garrison in here. Okay, that gives us a quick look at everything that's going on. And that is quite a bit over here. Oh, dear. Yeah, let... We'll have to make a staging area over here. And I... Th I think we'll leave these two in there for now. Hello. And Hello, instead... Boss. Uh, we'll move them out of the way of the min of the henchmen. I almost said minions. Uh, hello. Okay. Okay. Get in there. Ready, boss. You're the boss. Uh, can I? Oh, the auto repairing always nice. It. <laughs> okay, that's a bit much for All one right. uh, henchman. <laughs> oh, uh, Jay. Yeah, they're, they're just constantly... They're just constantly sending beasts out here. Okay, retreat a bit. Hello? Uh, yeah, You're let's the boss. hope... Let's send them over here, All that right. we avoid the archerfish beasts. Yeah, some towers here would be a good idea. Yeah. Holy, that's many fish! Ready, boss. Okay, what? Well, that is... That is a... Are they just sending everything they had up over here? Let's see, let's do another radar pulse. It's on cooldown. I think. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. They are they are constantly making creatures there. Okay, lobsters retreats. Uh, where's there's our gyrocopter? Uh, hello. Okay. And okay, Google was pro apparently. You're the boss. Shut up! I'm not trying to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my one of my phones was trying to react to something there. You're the boss. Ready, boss. Okay, you build me a creature chamber okay. here. Ready, boss. In the meantime, you all right. Uh, fly okay. back, pick up a, a lobster right. bear. You're the boss for defense there. Oh, we we are losing creatures. Uh, yeah, we are. It's probably here. No, of course, it's here. Uh, should we look up the crocodile thing? Yeah, let's quickly do that. Okay, alphabetically. Uh, everything on. Let's see. Crocodile. Level 4. High health, high defense, and high melee. A bite of 12 and a tail swipe of 7. Okay, yeah, that is the most melee damage on a single thing so far, I think. So, yeah, that with lobster and we have... Okay, and pummel on the gorilla. 10. Let's see, sword by melee damage, and yeah, the crocodile is the top there. Followed by the polar bear and the gorilla and the wolverine in third. Hmm. Has yeah, high health yeah. as well. It's yeah, that's the lobster, and we basically have a king of the sea or something. Let's see, bite of 12. Uh, well, okay, this automatically <laughs> puts it at level 5. Pincers for 14 oh. and the tail swipe. And it has everything here barrier destroyer. 
And yeah, it's, it's this specific back piece, the, the torso of the lobster that's just so extremely uh, armored. <laughs> Crocobster. Crocobster. Hopefully, but they attempt to name it Aqu Aquarius Rex or something like that. Okay, at the very least, we have our level 5 beast now. And yeah, I, I think we should look at the group. Yeah, th these guys are more supposed to be for mid game. Hmm. Ready, boys. Uh, yeah, let, let's see about making an end game ranger. Uh, let's see. Short gun ranged. Then, of course, the porcupine comes up again, but let's go for the chameleon because, well, health, healing, and such. Let's see. Let's put it over here. Again. And then something big. So, where is there's the size? And we get to the croc again. Hmm. Okay, if we do that, it goes for level four. Oh, look, 14 tongue attack. Okay. Camouflage, regeneration. Only a small difference there. <laughs> Let's, uh, what if we do this some, yeah. that'll make it 12. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's go with the croc and the chameleon. Did you see how it looks? Uh, with the mask or the giraffe? The, mo the ox, the ox. Okay. Okay, it looked more terrifying when they had the, the front paw of the chameleon as well, but it got beefed up. Tongue attack, uh, not the tail swipe. Actually, it can already swim like this. Um, going with camouflage actually makes it cheaper a tiny little bit. Uh, of course, because of the, the, it loses a tail swipe. So let's let's make the crocodilian. And that is our new melee beast, or range beast. Uh, yeah, let's go f the, here. Hello. Uh, you go drop off the. Oh. Ready, boys. Um. Yeah, we can immediately <laughs> try here. Uh, hello. You repair that. Okay. Okay. I wasn't really thinking they'd find him here. Okay, deal with these things. Uh, kill the weakened one first. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, there, there's the chameleon giraffe. Okay, the, yeah, we lost one and a half now. We're about to lose another one. Almost. Okay, at least we can secure this area like this. Yeah, you just keep healing. Um, I saw someone dude swimming in the water. Yeah, what? Wait, wait, wait how did... Hello. Uh, All right. <laughs> The hell, how the hell do you come from? Okay. Wait, that, that's our own! Ready, what boss. The? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh, that is probably an attack force already there. Hello. Okay. Uh, yeah, this might... That's Hello. probably a loss. And, uh... Are you enjoying breaking gravity there? Just, just a boss. head back wherever the hell you are. Ready, boss. Ready, uh, yeah, boss. this is a lost okay. boss here, I'd say. Yeah, there's too many. You all retreat. 
There are, is no water entrance over there, is there? Nope, none at all. Quite well defended against air attacks. Okay. Ready, boys. Hmm. Ready, boys. We'll have to wait for them to... Actually, they're... They're somewhat holding out. But still, I'll wait with hello. moving anything further. Oh, and they've run uh, out of hello. coal here. All right. Okay. okay. Next All branch. Right. Yeah, we'll have to be a bit careful with our oh, entrance over boss. here. Yeah. Uh, especially now that their attention is there. Oh, I do see one thing we can do, though. Oh. And that is destroy this water chamber. Yeah, that should make some things a bit easier. Hmm. We have to defend this as well, unless... Uh, let's move Lucy out. How can I help you? For science! Can you build another one of the... Yes, you can build another one of those. But we can only have one at a time. Okay. Well, might as well I'll get build on this. That directly. <laughs> and yeah, we're, once, once she's done with that... Um, yeah, I don't think we're getting any more air attacks, but we ha would have had them by now. Yes. Okay. Upgrade these beasts to have even more health. Mm, right and away. And then come over here and I'll build up some defenses, please. Right away. We will turn it back. Retreat a bit. In the meantime, let's build the scouts to see how things are going over there. Ready, boss. It's a bit All bold right. that we can only have one gyrocopter. Maybe it's a mission uh, designed limit. Hmm, possibly. You go over there as well. But yeah, it just means that we have to be really Hello. careful. You're the boss. We're just sending a bunch of air, aerial troops to support. Just attack move over there. And yeah, we're we're just going to load this shore up with the tower with defense towers. What would you have me do? Team 1, just completely retreat to the corner there, so that Team 2 can at least be of some use. And, well, it's in their numbers because they're outdated now. How can I help you? Yes? Okay. Next right one. Away. Okay, yeah, they're immediately sending quite a few through. Okay, team one, get back in there. What would you have me yeah, do? These, that shouldn't be a problem. These defenses won't hold like this. We'll we'll need a constant presence over here. Yeah, and the splash damage is a problem. So we can't put the towers too close to each other either. Yeah, they're already gone. Yes. Okay, Lucy, For head science. back. Hmm. We don't need to defend this. So technically, yeah, let's let's first deal with these things, and then we'll just pull them back to the base. Uh, Lucy, forgot to tag. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, I tagged you as number eight. I'll get on that directly. For science. Uh, build up defenses here, please. Right away. Oh, it's DK and Diddy. <laughs> Wait, who? 
You know, Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong. Oh, oh wait, that's... Okay, then I didn't get the yoke right. Okay, let's do another radar scan. Do they have any water chambers on land here? Well, uh, actually, it doesn't I don't want near the cave gate. But I there, see. yeah. If we can destroy that one, it'd be, it'd be damn golden. How can I help you? Okay, in the meantime, just completely block this place. That shouldn't Actually, be a problem. That was a bad a placement. Hmm. Yeah, we are we are working on a bit of a timer now. Boss? Okay. But it seems that this place is empty All again. Alright. You're the boss. Actually I think they I think they're holding their own over here without any losses. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think they're re I think they're regenerating from every attack that's incoming. Yep. It is going to keep the combat music going though. Hmm. Hello. Okay. Okay, drop them off here. Ready, boss. And then head right. back immediately. Ready, boss. Hello. You creature chamber. You're the boss. And start spawning, uh, spitting out uh, our cropsters. Yeah, I might as well uh, build some uh, defense tower around that uh, thing. Uh, yeah, building creatures here will have no use. <laughs> Let's up that armor even further. Why not? Ready, boss. Okay, uh, once you're hello. done with that one, build another one immediately. Ready, boss. Okay. All right. And you actually pick okay. up someone else. Hello. You're the boss. Hello. Okay. Because, well, many hands make light work. Okay, I have All to say, right. that attention to detail for the t right sky away. transport. Okay, why are you... Okay, they were holding formation for us for some reason. Hmm. Impressive. Okay, you. Ready, start boss. Spitting out those. Okay. How can I yes, help Lucy, you? you know you're idle. Problem. And yeah, they're all at full health. They they are just holding the line right over here. So. Yeah, let's just end all yes. of those because they're taking up space. And moving them over one by one would be, well, a waste of time, really. Yeah. Oh, uh, now we have beasts here. Hello. Uh, you drop that guy all off. Right. And immediately start building. Oh, never mind. Hello? You retreat. You're the boss. Boss? Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that is quite a... Why are there so many of these stupid things all the time? Uh, hello. What the heck? Yeah, we're now here. I'm not sure if the towers would really help against this many. Or, uh, yeah, let's get them building at the very least. Yeah, but at least some are your support be useful. Come on, get moving in there. Oh, they, they take almost 400 coal each. Oh. And yeah, they're just being overwhelmed by ranged attacks. Ready, you're the boss. Uh, yeah, okay. Just... Hmm. They are thi okay. They are they are actually winning, despite being up against like a dozen. 
Uh, I think we might actually need to re rely on the lobster for quite a bit. Okay, Hello. you two. Well, at least anything about the regeneration, since at least then they heal off the combat. Yeah. And lucky enough, chameleon and dragonfly and lobster have regeneration. I think that more animals have it. And uh, the dragonfly doesn't. Oh, for the head, alright. Oh, and of course, now they end in a flyer. Just to be a fly in our ointment. Okay, Lucy, if you're going to keep complaining about being idle, get to work. Uh, hello. And you all just get in. Oh, okay, that can be a bit. That can become a problem since now they have a flyer annoying us over here. Did we also make the rain student over here? Hello. You All right. repair that. And you're the boss. You Ready, boss. Okay. Don't repair that, I said. You Hello. All right. build an air tower. You're the boss. And yeah. One crocolinia. Ready, boss. Crooked Are you naming them up to yourself now? No. Okay, yeah, that is, that is becoming a problem. They are sending more air units that way. Oh, crooked uh, Okay. And we're low on coal again. You, team two, one, you, team two. Okay. You lot go help over there. And you guys retreat. Just plain retreat. I'm unsure if the SDA are adapting to my strategy or not. Either way, let's push on with those at the very least. Uh, hello. Uh, to, okay. To break that water chamber. Okay, yeah, they they killed off most of the lobsters there, the lobster bears there. And there's an opening in our air defense here. Mm -hmm. Lucy, I'll get on that directly. For science. That was all pushed back. But yeah, I, I am in somewhat big trouble economically now because, as powerful as these you know, crocos, uh, the crocodile lobsters are, they are slow. It makes them vulnerable to range. Very vulnerable to range. Yeah, we need, they need a, lot, uh, a good range creature to back them up. And I also feel like the Kogelian might be a mistake. Sure, they're high level, but they're also probably going to be damn expensive. Yeah, it might be better to go back to the bears. To the stage 4 beasts now. But 
I don't think the crocklofter uh, is a good idea. Just we need to use a cheaper ranged unit to have uh, like uh, a few crocklofters that have, give them a spot of a massive army of uh, things that can shoot. Yeah, we still have the Wolo Pines here. Yeah. The, 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 those should be cheap enough to be able to mass produce, at least, and give the crocodiles the needed backup. Okay. Push back another attack. Yes. The crocs are doing right some away. quite good damage, at least. For science. Yeah, but it might be that they are too expensive for the amount that they are able to do. Yeah, I feel like it's more like we try to use too many expensive oh. units. Yeah. Okay, just come on. Yeah, they they're getting out DPS by sheer numbers. Yeah, and you need to do that as well, basically. Hence why I'm suggesting we use the crop lobsters along with a large amount of ranged unit. Prefer the cheap ones for yeah, the other crocalium. That, that one looked a bit expensive, and slow to build as well. I think every beast has the same uh, speed at which they are built. Uh, yeah, the, the, the lobster bears are just half, almost, half the price almost. Okay, but that should, that should hopefully put a stop... Oh, that, how the hell did... You pushed quite far ahead on your own. Impressive. That impressive. <clears throat> yeah, it, it it might just be better to go preserve tactics. And yeah, it, this the camouflage isn't really needed as either as well. And yeah, the, the lobster bears are doing a lot better. They seem to be moving in the same speed. Yeah, that, that's we saw we saw that earlier. When you have when you have beasts grouped up, they will move at the speed of the slowest in their ranks. Uh, all right. Almost forgot that. Yeah, we're, we're managing to push in now, because we managed to thin their numbers. We were just uh, overwhelmed before. Actually, yeah, I see that now. The, the bears and the crops are moving there as uh, equally fast. Okay, yeah, we can make a final push now. Okay, so as, co as cool as it is to have level 5 beasts, uh, it, it'll it probably be better to just do level 4 ones. Yeah, like, sure, have at least one or two level 5 creatures, but don't try to s make a certain army of them. Yeah, you can see here, they are just way too slow, but I, I think that's also the beam tower that's slowing them down. That one is going to die before they reach. They kill off the air chamber. And you, you're not, you're not an overseer. Go help. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are winning now. Uh, no, that. The melee attack isn't too bad, but we want health more than that. Hey, go for the chamber, not the towers, dumbasses. 
Hey, 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 hey. Kill that man. You deal with that chamber. The rest of you push in. Okay. All of you focus on air. Focus on air. Yeah, there's a lot of those bugs. But yeah, they are just getting swatted. Uh, no, they're more like getting pinned. You know, like uh, a bug collectors, uh, how bug collectors do put a needle to a bug and put on a wall. Or was it a whole one? Uh, yeah, you get the idea. Okay. Those four can focus down the chamber. We yeah, don't really actually we need to destroy their air defense as well, I think. Because that counts as structures. Okay, can you stop ready, complaining boys. about having nothing to All do, right. dudes? Just go land you there if boss. you need to. Wait, they can repair as well? Okay. Okay. Oh, no, it's raining. Uh, wait, can you hear the rain? Uh, I cannot. Sort of surprise, but again, the mic is turned away from the rain, so... Okay, as long as we can keep down... Actually, without the, with our lab gun, once we've killed off the main, all their henchmen, uh, we. Oh, hello! What is th what is that I'm seeing there? Kill that! Kill that quick! With the lab gun, they can't make any more henchmen. So once we kill off all the henchmen, we we face it's only a cleanup job still. Uh, piercing damage which cuts down the enemy's defenses. So yeah, that, that also helps with just a mass mass amount of damage. And is there anything else hidden? Oh, we, we do need to go for their air turrets as well. Okay. What the? A village here. Yeah. Hmm. Is there anything hidden here? Mm. No, it does look that they just want to destroy all of the defense towers as well. Uh, should we go to Vegas to see something is there? Like a bonus quest? Or... Hmm. Well, I guess we want to wait to find out. It doesn't look like it, but these will probably appear in the cutscene that'll come up once these last two towers are gone. We surrender! Hey look, fella. I appreciate the surrender and all, but we got no quarrel with you. Valika Lapet is the one we're after. She is a bad, bad lady. She's been kidnapping our people. My brother, who lives on a nearby island, hasn't been heard from for months. Why would Valika want to kidnap villagers? Whatever the reason, you can be sure she's up to no good. Right. Uh, listen, buddy. Where exactly is your brother's island? Okay. <laughs> that is a hell of a lot of damage that was dealt. And, okay, we're quite equal on resources, actually. And it really uh, matters. Game and oh. From the Research Diary of Dr. Lucy Willing, June 18th, 1937. Case profile, Velika Lepet.
Velika is from an old, wealthy Parisian family. Somehow, they avoided the guillotine during the revolution and survived to spawn a whole brood of nasty little aristocrats just like her. She's got a taste for fashion like a lion has a taste for meat, using combined animals to create new kinds of furs to sell to her high society friends. She and Julius get along grandly. I think he wants her for her less tangible abilities. Along the way, they found that their visions were complementary. Julius wants to take over the world, and Velika wants to take over Julius. This island is teeming with wildlife, Rex. It will be an excellent place for us to expand our library of genetic stock. Don't forget, Lucy. We're here on a rescue mission. We've got to find out what Velika's doing kidnapping villagers. Saving them has to be our top priority. Of course, Rex. But there's no reason we shouldn't benefit along the way. We're going to need better animals if we're going to stand up to Julius. We can kill two birds with one stone. Agreed. Let's scout the local area. This place hasn't seen a soul in weeks. It looks like they left in a hurry, and I don't think it was by choice. Please, help us! The evil Sky Witch keeps stealing our people! Evil Sky Witch? <laughs> Sound like anyone we know, Lucy? Velika Le Pet. Rex, I want to help these villagers as much as you, but we need to collect some more powerful creatures first. You will not help us? Then you will not use any of our island creatures! Oh! Go! Creatures of the island, go! Rex, the animals are all running away. We won't be able to collect them. There. The creatures will not return until I call them. So if you want more creatures, first you must save my people. You manipulative, no-good little creep. Easy, Lucy. Uh, look, fella. We'll be happy to help you out. You're still going to help him after what he just pulled? Well, that is what we came here to do. Besides... He's holding all the cards. It looks like we do need those creatures after all. Now, where did Vel... Uh, I mean, the evil Sky Witch take your people? She has locked them up near our great temple. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to need Hello. to point out the Tarzan reference. Ready, yeah, boss. That, that okay. one was a little bit what uh, cringy. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, immediately start building. It seems we are landlocked here. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure if we need more powerful creatures to, looking at what we already have. Yeah, just to... The, the big you know, Lucy, I, I'm exhausted, but I feel absolutely invincible. I cut myself shaving this morning, and it seems to have healed before my very eyes. Ready for action. I've noticed. It's remarkable. There's barely a scratch on you. It's true. I've always been a quick healer. No problem. I'm on it. No problem. Let's see. What? Be oh, oh, yeah. We won't be able to I'm get any it. beasts, of course, until... Right. That is done. Let's go. Yeah. I was Sounds wondering like a plan. if they just gave us a How clue can I help you? of. Uh... Wait, they, or they have animals with regeneration. I'll get on that directly. All right. First off, we're going to focus on our resources again. Yeah, I just realized. Something I've been pondering about in earlier days. And I sort of wonder if that is the case that they are planning to make super soldiers. Hmm. Well, they kidnapped uh, villagers. So maybe they're looking at. Com well, humans are animals as well. 
So what yeah, they could be do? looking at right doing away. that. Yep, and they recently won the Rex Chase. Maybe due to he, what you said that he have a unusually able to hear you quite quickly. Let's go for advanced structures How first now, so you? we can immediately start putting that up air defenses. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, yeah. Right away. And then this map looks like uh, the map we really need a lot awesome. of uh, amphibious M flyers. Yeah, that, this stro this is a very thin stretch of land. Okay, two more henchmen yes? should do. That way we'll as good as surely have at least one of them on the... Uh, if they're not getting in each other's race like a bunch of lemmings. <laughs> For science. Uh, one of them is one of them's just locked in there. Okay. What would you have me do? <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, I'm sort of making the same mistake again that I'm not building up early. But I think we'll have a a grace period with this. Right away. In well, Velika, Velika doesn't know that we're here. So she wouldn't be sending out troops to find and attack us. Let's see. Okay, oh, for the radar oh. poles we need anti-air towers. How can I help you? Okay. Let's build one then, and I don't actually. It it, it is worth it is worth it that shouldn't be to build a the research tent because well, for the, it, because it doubles our tourist attack, at least increases it. And yeah, they just, they just keep walking into each other here, like there again, there. Uh, yeah, they aren't the brightest. Yes. Okay, research. How can I help you? Hmm. We need level two and I'll three get for on those. That, directly. that shouldn't for be now, a problem. Let's put up this in preparation. For science. Because actually. Coal so far has been our big weak point. So if we just send up even more henchmen over here, it will cut into <clears throat> it will cut into the amount of beasts that we can have for combat. But it would probably double our income. So yeah, let's get a bunch more. I think you have no. already too many that are collecting coal down there. Since so they're walking into each other. Yeah, that's more passing issue. But yeah, let's let's just send four up here to help. Mm -hmm. uh, Lucy, can you build another air tower just in case? Here? Right away. And then we'll start expanding, or then we'll start making How creatures. How can I help you? Yes. Speaking of, we should probably put down a freaking you know, chamber as well. Uh, yeah, we definitely should. For science. And since we are landlocked, we might as well just go with a water chamber instead. So we can make some po uh, lobster bears and send those out to start exploring. Because I very much doubt that it'll only stay with free the villagers. There's it's way too much land for that. Yeah, there's another village there. Yeah, I get the feeling we'll have to fight our way all the way up. Actually, no. Hmm. I'm guessing Valinka probably has a base over there. Possibly. And I feel like that we definitely what needed uh, right croc lobster, bear lobsters, and a few flyers.
Okay, that's the next level. And we have immediately enough to go to the next one. So this I'll get can you stop for directly. a moment? Make an air chamber that here. Shouldn't be a problem. Then we can make a scout. Nice. So I was wondering, do we have a, a way to make a sheep a swimming uh, range unit? What would you have me do? Uh, we could How make. How can I help you? We we had a a made a arranged science. design with the the porcupine lobster. That shouldn't be a problem. Just need to wait for this to finish. Then we can start building our pieces. You in the meantime, go look around here. It's probably air defenses somewhere. That's level four. Yeah, there's the air defenses already. And okay, that shoots it down in just two shots. Okay, you start spitting out lobsters. Yes. Also, hmm. I just I'll built get on that, there. that directly. Oh, 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 hello. Okay, so they are aware of us, or maybe because of their... Are those... <laughs> Archivist cheetahs with cheetah heads looking way oversized. <laughs> Ready, boss. Okay, I think we lost a few henchmen here. Okay, yeah, might as well start exploring. How many of them? Six. Two of them died. Perhaps we should uh, make chameleons combined with archer fish. That shouldn't be a problem. Defense tower upgrade and hmm. maybe we are. Let's see. Do the crocodiles? Crocodiles don't have. Regen oh, they have regeneration because of the chameleons. Yep. Okay, let's send these five out. Scout the rest of this island. Actually, there's probably nothing here because this is where the cutscene happens. No, I think the cutscene was uh, just where you put up your extra workshop. Maybe. Mm, this is where it started, but this is where the villager was. Okay, so extra coal. Alright. Okay, you two head over there already. And yeah, there's nothing on this island, so we can start pressing the attack. Once one of these coal piles runs out, we can send someone. Then we can send the rest over to that other pile to work on that. Oh. Deal with those. Try not to attack the tension of the gym. Strachelians are expensive, but they are effective as well. And our Wolo coins can't swim. Yes, how do I know? Okay. We'll just have to deal with that little shit where we're and yeah, it, its attacks are too weak to actually. I think the I think their dam the damage they're dealing is already healed by the time they attack again. Yeah, this looks like it. Okay. 
Oh, there we go. Sneak attack on our grounds. And they are dead. Here to shoot down any swimmers. Okay, just keep pressing the attack. And oh, <laughs> there goes the ape. Holy bottom of the sea. Okay, I think that'll do for our beasts at the moment. You go deal with that tower. Okay, deal with that chamber. And they've already... Okay, the, these guys are slow in the water. Okay. Their sound sound familiar to me. Can you be a bit more the water? Okay. Like when um, you don't want a shell before it yes. launches at something. <laughs> okay, that sound you mean. Yeah. Okay, so, I hit somewhat close. Right, let's build ourselves an air pot. Yeah. Lemon pot. Then we can make... Yeah, it'll be easier to ferry over a henchman uh, by gyrocopter. Then to have them swim over and risk being attacked. And yeah, just that's just a massive range in those. Okay, folks, you're free to go. Uh, no pushing in seven now. No way. We can't go anywhere without the protection of our goddess. What do you mean you're staying? I just went to a lot of trouble to get you out of here. Some gratitude. There are bad creatures in control of our flaming savannah heads. If you get rid of the creatures, we will be safe at the flaming savannah heads because the goddess will smile upon us. Okay. I guess I can't blame you for being afraid. Don't worry. I'll take care of them and get you home. Okay, so we won't be getting animals just yet still. And there's the quick save uh, pause. Hmm. Let me see what time is it. What? Yeah, we still have half an hour. And uh, without the mistake of uh, over-reliance on the high-level beasts, I think we'll be safe. Well, we'll be able to do this in enough time. And yeah, they, they have two sneaky little water chambers hidden over there and there. So let's send a lobster to each of them. And get rid of that. Oh, hello. Ready, boss. Oh, oh, come, I for forgot to leave behind the fence. Ready. Okay, yeah, let's right. deal with these things. How can I help you? Protection from air. But not to do right anything away. with the land mammals. Oh. Lucy, get out of there. Yes? I'll get on that directly. What's next? No problem. Let's go. Uh, okay, that is, that is quite a bunch that they're sending over. Sounds like a plan. Well, luckily, they are just outmatched by the lobsters. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just one of <laughs> just the absolute pitiful amount of damage that these things are dealing. Oh, come on! Ready for action. I'm on it. Hello. You're the boss. 
Ready, boss. Yeah, the main weakness of them is that they are slow in comparison to everything else, and they're retreating. Rex chance at your service. Okay. I'll leave two here. Yeah, I'll just leave these. What would you have me do for science? Ready, boys. And we <laughs> lost three again. It always feels weird to see enemy play Hello. in these kind All of right. games. Okay, sure. those tanks are being it's taken care of. It's okay. great to see a flea mechanic in Total War in those, but in okay. games like this, it always surprised me when I... Actually, yeah, I've never seen another game like this that actually will enemies will flee away. Okay, I think it might have been more a quirk of the AI since this chamber was being attacked. And I just saw one run across the edge of, this, uh, of the, line, the line of sight there. Alright, so more of a priority. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense, that makes sense. Okay, that's one chamber gone. And one lobster that can rejoin the group. And that one's about to burst as well. Let's see, are there any other water chambers? There's a normal chamber there. Okay. We probably won't have seen the last of the water beasts. But at least we'll have uh, thin their ranks. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is a bit more troublesome for that gun. And these ones. Eat the monkey! Oh, yeah, we can eat them, actually. Oh, What's next? No problem. There. Hmm? And go that help mine over there, please. Okay, still actually losing... I'll get on that directly. Let's put down a few more of these. Right away. And we've lost a few of our lobsters. Let's make a few more. We're leaving this vanguard behind. So you get other villages back to their villages. You'll only save when they're near the flaming savannah heads. Destroy enemies surrounding the flaming savannah. And okay, so it is. It's basically an extended. I was expecting a bit more of this than I, there actually was. We Thank you for saving our people. <laughs> Yeah, it's basically a rescue and escort mission. My pleasure. Please, take this as a gift. Oh, thank you. And yeah, we're getting the DNA as re as things. The piranha. And so we haven't checked what our new, what our new uh, beasts can do, and we can remove the Roloyote, as much as it <laughs> say that name. <laughs> Let's see, the gorilla is... Her oh. Herding, okay. These would make some very powerful defense beasts. Oh, bloody heck. Combine the dogs with crocodile. Frenzy. Um, and pack hunter, okay, yeah. Piranhas would be very powerful attackers. And they're only level two. Okay, that's, yeah, they'd be very useful. And I think that's all of the new beasts that we've actually not looked at yet. See, judging by these defenses, that we're actually we can't reach those. Hmm. So we'll have to bring in these first. Here's an idea: combining wolf with gorilla. I'm thinking more like where you all go and attack that. 
I'm thinking the quick little jump in here. And then we do... Gorilla... And lobster. Did you say Some we should not... Bite. <laughs> yeah, but as an example, they, this would be 26 melee damage. And it would be level 5. And just barrier destroy, herding, swimming, and regeneration. <laughs> okay, let's put that tail back on. Because that otherwise looks pretty stupid. Okay, maybe to put the tail back on like this, but... horrifying! <laughs> and, oh, now it's only level 4. Oh, because it can't swim like this. And, it's, actually, it seems that the, the gorillas and the... Yeah, they seem to have the same amount of health. But the lobster's back provides a lot more armor, just doubles it again. The gorupster. <laughs> Hmm. Let's actually save that for a moment. Oh, oh they could... Actually, they might be better. They, they do less total damage, but they are cheaper, almost half as much. Yeah, but I have, they have way less, less amount of HP. True, but we can we can build out more for this. For like, we can have we can have almost two of these for every one of these. So I'm, I'm yes, I'm throwing that one out. Okay, there come the reinforcements. And since we have the resources, let's do this anyways. What would you have me do? In the meantime, Lucy can continue working up our defenses. And also I'll get down on that directly. That. What the? <laughs> Flying hippos. But oh, I was reacting to piranhas. I didn't know that the hippos would be a mainstream then. What the? And flying gators. Battle oh, dials. Okay. Focus down the air chamber, you lot. Lick it. Lick it. Make it feel icky. <laughs> Meantime, let's build our landing. Okay, there, there is just a limit of one gyrocopter all the time. Are they actually building it on it? How can I help you? Okay. Where to build a forward base, though? For science. Because there's no, yes. there's no coal around here. Uh, good question. Now we can probably just put down a, a creature chamber somewhere around here. But we're not going to send Lucy to do that. No, we're just, we're just going to send this uh, unlucky bastard. Okay. Uh, where is... Where is that gyrocopter? Didn't we just build one? Or do we uh, need to... Ready, boss. All okay, right. we need to send one Ready, of our henchmen boss. in to do Hello. to use it. Ready, boss. Okay, that's that's a nice detail. Okay. Mm. Hello. All okay, right. just grab your friend. Okay, and this is probably the lost village. Actually, no, there's another one over there. There's another pillar over there. And yeah, these guys, these, these guys are doing pretty well. They are pricey, but they are very powerful as well. Hello? Yeah, and once you have a good number of them, they will do good work. 
Why is this counted as hostile? Or is it because this base is still up and standing? Oh, actually, no, they're moving. The villagers are moving. Thank you for bringing our people home safely. It's the least I could do. Here, a gift from our goddess. Hey, thanks. Yep, the bats. Okay, only mammal that can fly. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, just bat these things out of the sky, will you? Let's hey, 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 hey. Focus the chamber, did not uh, yes, people, I know there's the flying squirrel, but the flying squirrel is not flying, it's just gliding. Yeah, it, it's falling with grace. Uh, yeah, that is well. So the bat is indeed the only mammal that can fly at the moment. Also, that was a Toy Story reference. Uh, hello. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Hello. Let's see. I'll I'll just put him down here. Okay. I would be surprised if I've got there, boss. I All don't right. like Toy uh -oh. Story. Okay. You're the boss. Sorry, people. I don't like it. Thank the My new brother did the last of it. You must take this as a sign of our gratitude. Hey, great. But uh, thanks, little fella. Hornets? Okay, uh, I was not expecting hornets. Okay, push on. Really you just do your work. <laughs> we hit flying hippos again. That okay, so terrifying. This, Hello. This level is... Uh, it, it's a welcome bit of change of pace. Just not always build ba build bases, go hunt and such. Hello. Ready While you're here, okay. Get up a bit of defense for yourself. Hello. Actually, you're the boss. Oh, you you can you can mine as well. Okay, that is useful, and that's a lot faster as well. It seems. Yeah, I can see why they're li you're limited to only one. If you had multiple of those, uh, yeah, you'd be able to expand your economy exponentially. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the problem we were having earlier was that we couldn't bring our beasts out in a quick enough number to counter, well, the numbers of our enemy. Actually, the... They are very similar in their stats here. It's just that the Grobosters have a bit more attack, but also the herding ability. And that would that would help them survive immensely. Because of this, sure. Uh, yeah, we don't know the exact number of defense it gives, but we've seen that the, the boosts do help a lot. Ooh, yeah. Or at least helps a lot. And you guys can stop tasting the electrical wiring and just move on. What the? Uh. The hippo with a chameleon head. And there's also a snake turtle. Yeah, spit and sink turtle. I get the feeling we've lost a few of our crocodilians. Why did a hippo just land on one? Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, some of you push through for the chamber itself. Once that is gone, this should be easier to do. Archelians, focus the air support. And then just do whatever you uh, can taste. Hello. Alright, you're the boss. I don't Where know about the village. No, there's only a few of them left here. Okay. Apparently they don't think this one is this totem is secured yet. Hey, so what do you miss there? Ready, boss. You, you don't miss the power. All right. Yeah, that's probably too close for them to feel comfortable. Cotillion, step forward. I think we've got it with what we have at the moment. And that's one resource field empty. How can I help you? So you all move over right there. Away. Along with the gyrocopter. Oh, I didn't mark it this time. Hello. Okay, not that we will be needing okay. it much more longer. You're the boss. And you just make us a few of these. Let's go. Ready, oh, hello. Uh, All right. Send them over there. Ready, we'll repair boss. that. You're the boss. Uh, <laughs> Excellently present till that lands. Ready, boss. Ready, boss. What do we need to do with you? Okay, they are about as strong in attack. It seems, and uh, okay, there's. Yeah, they send a, they send a sneak attack around. Okay, one more for the hurling to trigger. I actually make that two because one of them is dead. Okay. The, the chameleon hippos seem to be quite powerful. Yeah, they probably have a bunch of uh, defense and health, or at least health. There goes another one of them. I think it might actually be worth it to upgrade to these guys, as much as they are getting their asses kicked at the moment here. Just retreat for the moment. Just bunch up so they can get their bonus. Can you just go after this lab? Stick together, you dumbasses. There we go. There's the act bonus active. I find it a bit odd that it doesn't. It, it, it's maybe a percentage bonus or flat bonus. We, act we can't actually tell. You make a new workshop here. I'll get on that directly. Oh, they build another chamber here. Can you explain a few things? Okay, once these henchmen are gone. We should have this in the bag because they won't be able to build anymore. And then it's just a matter of cleaning up. And let's just compare it with again. They are only a little bit uh, more costly. They have only three more extra health, three extra, but that is, and three extra attack. A bit more armor as well, less sight, but they are also speedier. So yeah, it might be better to, once, when, when we have the resources to, to uh, swap from the 
<coughs> from the <laughs> from the lobsters to the gorillas, not lobsters. Though at the moment I don't think they'll actually be needed anymore. Oh, and they're moving to the next pillar. And I think that, yeah, that's the last structure gone. And just to check, radar pulse shows nothing. Yeah, we're done. Now we just have to wait for them to get to their next point, which is here, okay. So uh, yeah, it's literally just a waiting game, and uh, yeah, we're getting close to the end. We have about four minutes until we've hit the two-hour mark. And okay, this this is something Thank funny you so about much. the raggling the tails. We never thought we'd see our families again. <laughs> Please take this. It's the least we can do. Gee, you know you guys are real swell. And there's the snapping turtle. What has happened here? This won't do. This won't do at all. You. Me? Yes. You stay here and find out what happened. Hey, where are you guys going? The bloodthirsty savages who did this are probably still here. I need to be where it is safe. The way she runs. Bloodthirsty savages? You should be more worried about me. Huh? I don't want any trouble. Then tell me why Valik has been kidnapping villagers. She wants them for her experiments with the Sigma technology. That's horrible. The Sigma technology isn't supposed to even work on humans. Lucy, I've had just about enough of Valika Lapet. What do you have in mind? We have to put a stop to what she's doing here. If we don't take care of her now, once and for all, I'm sure she's gonna harass us all the way until we reach Julius. Get the lab prepped. We're taking the fight to her. Okay, it sounds like the next level is going to be a full-on boss fight with her. And yeah, I read that that is where the game is starting, will start to get really tough. Or are you supposed to? And I was right! She is experiment on the people. Yeah. So uh, all the more reason to uh, stop her. Chance, June 19th, 1937. It's been over a week since I first arrived on these islands. It hasn't exactly been a tropical vacation, but I feel I'm holding up well. In some ways, I feel more alive than ever. I've always excelled under pressure, and all this combat has honed my senses to a fine edge. I just don't remember feeling this aggressive before. Now, time to get my head out of the clouds and back to the task at hand. Valika Lapet now stands directly in our way, which means we're gonna have to do some good old-fashioned shoving to get her to step aside. Rex Chance and his little strumpet are sure to come after me. I'll send those two bumbling brothers after them. We're here, boss, just like you's ordered. We are going to have visitors. Prepare your creatures for a fight. I'm sending out the scouts. Fly, my pretties. Fly! <laughs> <laughs> Today, 
to the best of my knowledge, this island is where Velika has set up base. Good. It's about time we paid her a visit and told her how much we appreciate the hospitality she's shown us. job. By the looks of it, that was one of Velika's scouts. It'll be a while before they realize that one's missing, but she's sure to have more. We need time to set up the base. Keep a lookout for more scouts, and if you spot one, take it out before it has a chance to alert Velika. Okay. How? Use your dart gun on anything that flies, silly. Now, let's set up base. I've put together some new research items available at the research clinic. Henchman binoculars will increase the sight radius of our henchmen, and henchman yoke will allow them to carry more coal. Uh, okay, I don't know why the camera was just <laughs> sliding to the right there. But uh, yeah, it looks like we'll be facing off against Velika and two of her top henchmen in control of their own bases by the, well, the, what I read and the fact that our colors were different. Yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Velika is... Uh, is really just channeling the Wicked Witch of the West, huh? With yeah. the flying monkeys <laughs> and that line. Yeah, you, you heard me groan. <laughs> that was uh, so cheesy. I saw an eagle near the base. Yeah, and zebras, but we already have those. Yeah. But so before we groan. leave, let's take a look at what beasts we'll be getting. Once this, yep. Zoom. Let's see. Don't like. Uh, Da, da, da. Eagle, hippo, hammerhead, shark, Komodo, dragon, rhinoceros, and cheetah. I... Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's six again. Komodo dragons, those beasts are dangerous in real life. Yeah, and the proof creatures I know of that will hunt a human if given opportunity. Yeah, and I'm not entirely sure if the right term is if they're poisonous or venomous. So actually, I think it's. Poisonous is closer. Venom is more that it gets injected. But, uh, yeah. The thing about Komodo dragons is that their spit is like a breeding center for all sorts of bacteria. So if one bites you, it's going to get infected no matter what. And the problem is, there's no antidote because the, yeah, the venom, so to speak, or poison, so to speak, of the Komodo dragon is different for each of them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you get bitten, you're going to lose whatever it bit. Yeah, I think they have venom, but they get worse big they are all the bacteria that becomes poison. So I think it's a kind of unique mix of both. Yeah, like yeah, I think the reason... Now. I'm going off memory here, but I think the reason that uh, their mouths are just such breeding uh, just breeding places for bacteria is because they let their uh, meat uh, get digested in the mouth or something like that. Yeah, they have a lot of things in stuff between the tail teeth. So as I said, they seem to have venom glands, but also the addition with things getting stuck between the teeth and other areas of the mouth, they just becomes a very unpleasant things we'll be getting bitten by. Uh, yeah, and I'm just going to... Yeah, I, I've deselected the game because now I'm looking at the Steam chat, which is a lot less crowded because I've kicked out all the fucking bots. Like, <laughs> last time it was almost 12 bots. So, oh, yeah. yeah. These people should actually be, well, living people. So, in reverse order, thank you for watching, Luxana1. Same to you for four gathers. Yeah, four gathers is probably how you say that. And as always, special thanks to you, Dirk, here. Oh, you're most welcome, lad. And uh, yeah, in two days, we'll be continuing with this. I'll, I'll probably continue with the lab code as well. But I don't expect this to become a staple or something. Or well, it might be. Play more mad scientist games. <laughs> uh, well, we have one planned at the very least, but if. We're, for, we're, for, we're, we're first 
have to see if Orcs Must Die 3 will finally cooperate when we get to that. And otherwise, we have Singularity Rating because that finally started working for some reason. I have no idea what happened or what changed, but from just crashing on startup, it just starts up and works now. Just <laughs> I have no freaking idea why. Yeah, I've been having the, all the things happening with the, to the war, uh, one or two recently. Like, some days it will just work just fine, but other days it will not work at all. Uh, maybe it's that Steam changed something. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably never know. For now, though, uh, any, again, anyone's watching, thank you. Um, but next time, more Impossible Creatures. But until then... Until then. Be safe, folks!